everyone. Welcome back. We're going to be doing another recorded video of a belief code, body code, emotion code session, what it looks like. Um, I have a, a client with me who's agreed to be videoed. So let me welcome uh, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi there. Hi, everyone. You ready for this? Yes, totally excited. I so support the process and believe in it and have seen lots of wonderful things that come out of the end of it. So I look forward to seeing what happens and what we discover during this session. Okay, cool. Because it is fun because, you know, sometimes things make total sense to us because our mind really wants to make everything make sense. But, you know, if subconscious mind is going to take us wherever the energy is, and sometimes it makes no sense at all. Um, so we'll just see what happens. I think that we're going to be doing, we're going to start off right away with belief code because we're actually doing a follow-up to another um to the last session i just want to make sure my phone is on do not disturb there we go i forgot to do that um but i know we're going to be starting in belief code because that's where we left off there and then it'll probably take us to body code you never know what's going to happen which is what's great about this because you know this modality has a way of just finding the energy right we clear it and then we move on from there and new things come up. We clear that, whatever. It just keeps going. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's fun because you get great results. So let me share my screen. We're continuing from last session, which we were starting out with. Let me move this over. Okay. So the focus, which I'm sure you're well aware of since it's your thing, is repeating lessons moving forward. Seems like when you get geared up to start something good for yourself, you get blocked. So you kind of feel, and I'll let you elaborate on that, that, um, yeah, that you just, it, that it's like this, I don't know, a hamster wheel where you, you, you're you getting so far, but that's what happens with energy. And then more things come to the surface to be released because possibly we can't just get it all uh, in one, sh in one shot because it's years of things. Some of these things go back to when we're really, really young. Some Things are like so present in our mind right now, but where's the root to that? So that's what we find through all this work that we're doing now. Um, and there were these questions that we asked in the beginning of the last one. So I'm going to ask them again now because um, I, I don't believe if we asked, I don't remember if we asked it at the end of the last one. I probably would have marked them in case anything flipped, but we do know we're coming up. And we had a belief code last session, right? Mm -hmm. Then we had a few things like a broadcast message, toxin, uh, organ. Okay, no will. Yeah, and then we went right back to a belief system. So sometimes there's a few belief systems that need to be released on the thing that we're working on, right? Mm -hmm. And even within a belief system, because uh, and I'll explain it as we go for people who maybe haven't seen me do this before, in the associations, we find trapped emotions, different energies in the body code. We may also find another belief code attached to this belief code what we're doing right now, though, is just a whole separate belief code. It wasn't really attached to the first one, but they're both connected to this focus of repeating lessons or having things come back in a new way, in another way of what feels like the same old thing, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. So we know where we are with that. Okay, hold on. Let's ask this question here. Um, okay. So, well, first, you know what? I want to ring a bell. I don't want to call in the energies to be with us, working here with us today. I still hear it. I just like bringing in, you know, that frequency and that tone to get started as we're calling in all those beautiful energies that are here to work with us to support you in moving forward. Um, so let's ask these questions again. Make sure I can test as Stephanie. Yeah, Linda, no, Stephanie. Okay, is there something blocking you from self-care that will support you to move forward? Is there something that is blocking you in taking care of yourself and in moving forward? Okay, no, so see, we didn't ask the last time. So with what we did, we flipped that one, right? Okay, now let's ask about this one. Is something block continuing to block you? Something more, some more energies here that are blocking you from drawing in more and more money for the things that you desire. And that's a no too. Okay. So we got rid of some of that stuff, right? Let me ask it again. Something blocking you from drawing in more and more money for the things you desire? No. All right. 
Well, we know we had a definite yes the last time, right? Okay, and now, um, do you still have some money blocks that haven't been identified? And that's still a yes, okay? Because we're still in the process of this thing. But it's kind of nice to ask the questions and see where we are with that. So we did that whole belief system, got the associations. We got a bunch of these extra energies that wanted to come in. We were 65% complete. Let's see if that's correct, if that's still true, if that's an accurate number. So with this whole focus of attention we're working on here, are you more than 50% complete with the energies that need to come up and be released? More than 50%? Yeah. More than 60? More than 70? All right. So this is 65. All right. So that's where we are. Now, let's ask this again, right? Um, all right. So I asked those questions again. Let's take this away because we put it, I put those answers up at the top. Um, this belief, let's ask again, what the, what kind of belief system are we going to have here? So is this a basic belief system? No. Okay. Is it split? No. Tangled? Parallel? So it's partial. Okay. That's what we had last time. So nothing's changed. It's exactly what it is. We just didn't get to do it that day because we ran out of time. All right. So are you ready to call up this whole system? So I'll just explain, too. You know what a partial system is, if you recall. Um, the, this whole thing is like we're pulling out this like tree that's made up of all these different beliefs, right, and deleting it. So what did we have the last time? We had a basic format. So the basic format is made up of the, the branches of the tree, negative patterns and programs, right? Then you come into the trunk, limiting beliefs. You go into the root system, which we call a faulty core belief, and sometimes even down to the soil level, which is um, faulty core identity, right? And those come up between birth and age seven. So that makes this group of all these beliefs, right? Pluck it, send it out. It's gone. But because you've done work on yourself, not just with the work with me, but any other things that you have done in your history of wanting to move forward and releasing these things that are blocking you, you probably released a lot of stuff, but there's some leftover logs and branches just laying around. That's what the partial system is. It's like you've done all this work, you've pulled out a lot of stuff, but there's these little bits and leftovers that maybe didn't make a basic system or one of these other systems. So we're pulling those random beliefs together as their own system and we want to release those so we're going to find the stragglers right the things that didn't come up before and that's really cool that we can do that all right so let's do it so now i'll ask this question because you could have like a structure negative programs limited beliefs faulty core identity faulty core belief or just a list of random beliefs i've done a lot of work on myself i usually wind up with partial systems like these things that I didn't uncover before that are still hanging around. And I usually don't have a pattern or system of how it works, but let's see if you do. So are we going to have in this partial system, is it going to be set up like the regular basic system? No. So we're going to have a bunch of random beliefs. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's dig in, find up, dig in, find them, release them and see where we go from there. We'll ask that other question after we could even ask a few more questions to make sure we've gotten all that energy up. Now, in the meantime, while we're doing this, Stephanie, you've done it many times before, but if for some reason something's coming to your mind that you want to bring the energy up around, let's talk about that, right? If it comes up, make sure make sure we do that. So um, let's get started. Where are we going to find this first belief? Are we going to find it here to the right side or to the left side of the chart? It's on the left side. Is it divine insights communication? All right. So I'm going to keep you know notes here of where we're winding up. Now, there's four categories here. So we're going to find it on the right or on the left in authority. So it's communication authority where we'll find and uncover this belief. And, you know, they can only put so many beliefs in, in this whole thing, right? So it's always those words or something similar to it. It's the frequency of the words that we come to. So we're in negative statements here. There's only one section. There's 11 of these. So we're looking at an odd number. No, even two, four, six, eight. Okay, what it's number eight. So is it, I need to obey authority no matter what? Okay. No matter what. So that's taking you out of your own power. Like, so maybe your intuition or something is telling you something, but you're like, well, hold on a second. 
no, the rules dictate or this authority is telling me it has to be this way. So that's that energy is it, it will hold hold you up. OK, so that's the first one. Do we have another one? Yeah. OK, so we go back to the beginning and I'll just state to like these different sections, they're connected to the different chakras. Right. So divine is the crown, insight, third eye, communication, throat, love is the heart. Power, solar plexus, right? That will to make things happen. Passion, sacral, and survival is the root. So we were just in communication, throat chakra. So where's this next one? Is it right? It's left. It's divine. Okay. Crown chakra. Right side, left side, faith, God. So we have something in divine God. We'll go to these negatives. Uh, one, two. So we're in section three. What do we find in section three? Ten of those. Is it an odd one? No, it's even. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. I can't stay connected to God. Okay. And now we don't have to decode all of these things, where they came from and all of that. We're just calling up the energy. We will, if we need to decode things in the associations, the energy is connected to this. But for right now, we're just bringing all of these beliefs up to the surface. So we do have another one, three. Um, and where are we going to find this one? Right side, mm -mm, left, divine insight. Okay, some third eye action here. Right and left, right, left, body, insight, body, right, left, body. Okay. Oops. All right. What are we going to find here? Negative statements, section one, two, three, four, section four. Ten of them. Um, okay, so is it an odd? No, it's an even. Is it two, four, six, eight, ten? I will never be skinny. <laughs> yes, please get rid of that one. <laughs> That's, funny. <laughs> That's funny that that came up. And now, it, and it's still... Cycles repeating, right? That's what we're talking about. So yep. this is something coming up there. And that's something that you want to work on. So, okay, that makes sense. Thank you. We love when they make sense, don't we? It does. It does. <laughs> Just like read my mind. <laughs> but it never has to make sense for the energy to release. Um, but we, you know, us humans like it to make sense to us. Okay. So where are we going? We have another one. Yep. Okay. Is it right? Uh-uh. It's left. Divine insight communication, love. Okay. Uh, on the right, no, on the left, feelings, family, parents, self. Okay. Negatives. Will we find it in one, two, three, four? Okay. This one, section four. Nine of them. Odd, mm -mm, even. Two, four, six, eight. I have no one. I have no one. So there's lots of times when we feel like that. So this is just an energy trapped around that. Okay, do we have another one? Yes, we do. Where will it be? Back to the beginning. Um, this time right? No, left, divine. Okay. Right side, left side, faith, God, purpose. Divine purpose. Negatives. One, two, section two. Nine of those. Odd. Okay. So is it one, three, five, seven, nine, seven? I hate spirituality. <laughs> That's kind of strange. It's kind of strange, but you know, it makes me chuckle because there are times like, you know, because a lot of us, you, Everyone I work with has gone through some sort of an awakening, right? We're in this whole energy world and all that. And there are times when it's not going the way we want it to go. And it's like, I'm done. This, stuff. this doesn't work. You know, like all that kind of energy can come in, right? That kind of thing. Yeah, that um, can so, make sense. I could understand that now. Yeah. I mean, it could be something like that, right? But just that kind of energy, like, well, okay, so here's maybe the energy is. Nothing works. It didn't work. It came back again. I thought I, I thought I got rid of this whole thing, right? Very true. So, Very true. 
So is is what we're talk what I'm talking about here, this information that's coming to me, is this true for what this statement is all about? All right, so it's something like that. Okay. Okay, so do we have another one? Yeah, we do. Let's find it. Right side. Mm, power solar plexus. And it's the right side. So is it change, effort, growth? No, we're in strength. Okay, spelled that wrong. Fix it later. All right, what do we have here? Uh, negatives. Okay, one to seven. Is it an odd? No, it's an even. Is it two, four, six? Section six. So you you know this already, but just I'm letting people I'll let people know. You might notice that I look away because I don't like to look and influence anything with my muscle testing. And I always ask the people I work with not not to read anything till we get to the number. Okay, so we're in power and strength and. Uh, Section six, there's eight things. Is it an odd number? It's an even number. So two, four, six, eight. Number eight. I'll always be weak. Oh, well, let's get if we want to get rid of that. Yep. Right. Most of this stuff, you know, it's just going to be something that takes you out of your power. So mm -hmm. we want to reclaim all, you know, your power. We're creators. That's what we came here to do, right? We want to. Do we have to do it through all that social programming of all you have to overcome and all the struggle? No, we don't want to buy into all of that, right? We want to reclaim our power to create what it is we want in life. So we got that one. Is there another one? Yes. So is it on the right? No, it's on the left. Divine insight, communication, love. Right side, children, others, partner, responsibility. Okay. Spell that one wrong. <laughs> I'm not great in spelling. It's okay. <laughs> we'll fix it later. All right. So um, are we looking at section one, two, three, section three? Nine. Is it odd? Yeah. It's one. Number one. I'm a fraud. I've had this one come up before. I'm a fraud. So whatever that means, wherever it came from, it's just, you know, and I guess you could say when you feel like you, you know, yeah, okay, we've overcome this thing or whatever it is because you're mm -hmm. working on stuff, you feel like it, it it's cycling back, right? Um, that energy could be in there to keep you from actually being that thing, right? That new energy or that new something, mm -hmm. uh, that the goal, the change. All right, so we have I'm a fraud. Okay, uh, do we have another one? No, okay, let me just make sure. Is there another belief within this partial system? No. So we got all of them. Yes. Is there anything that I need to understand or know or decode around this system as a whole? No. Uh, any any one of these beliefs that we need to know anything about? No. Okay. So like they're not inherited or anything like that. Good. So now we're going to find associations. Are there, first of all, are there associations that are connected to this belief system, this partial belief system? Yeah. Okay. Are there trapped emotions? Yeah. I like to start with trapped emotions. All right, and I'm going to use the body code chart for the trapped emotions. Here we go. Now, first trapped emotion. Is it something to the right, to the left? Okay, prenatal, pre it's inherited. Mm -hmm. We have an inherited one connected to this. After doing all this work, you know we had to have an inherited in there somewhere. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's really funny. You are my all-time... What, it was your heart wall where almost everything in there was inherited. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Remember that? That was yes. really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So inherited. Um, what is it? Is it in A? It's in B. It's odds. It's one. Okay. Is it effort unreceived? No. Is it heartache, insecurity, overjoy? So vulnerability. Okay. Yeah, Makes sense. Was it inherited from your mom? No, it's from your dad. Did he inherit it? Yeah, from the mom, from the dad. Okay. Did that dad inherit it? Yes, from mom, or from dad. So it's dad, dad, dad. Does it go back more than 10 generations? No, more than five. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine generations. All right. Did your kids inherit this? No. It's James and Jeanette or Janine? 
Jeanette. Jeanette. Okay, James and Jeanette. So kids inherited? No. All right, so let's wipe it out. We've got 10 swipes. You can okay. join me in the swiping, and let's just knock this thing out. Woo. Three, four, six, eight, nine. So 10 swipes, and that's gone. And let's just give a couple of extra swipes here just to pull in lots of love and light in place of all that energy that we were letting go of. Thank you, God. Thank you for releasing that from everyone who inherited it. <sighs> okay. All right. We got that. That felt nice. Mm. I may have to ground myself again. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there another trapped emotion? There is. Right side. Common. So something that occurred within this lifetime here. Let's see if we need to decode it. But for now, uh, will we find it in A and B odds, B evens, two, four, six? Is it pride, shame, shock, unworthy, worthless, unworthy? Okay, now, do we need to know any details about how it came about? Anything that we have to understand and call up the energy for this? No? Okay, let's release it. Unworthy. Wherever, however it came, we're just letting it go. You only need three swipes, but, you know, oh, I just swiped the way I like to swipe. <sighs> that felt good. Okay. So we got that. That's released. All right. Is there another trapped emotion? Another trapped emotion. Uh, right side, common. Another common one. Okay. I'm feeling something in my heart center here. So are we looking for something in A or B odds? One. Um, is it effort unreceived? Heartache, insecurity, overjoy, vulnerable, heartache, no wonder why. I'm feeling some energy, I don't know why, but in my actual heart center here. So it's heartache. All right. Now, do we need to decode anything any details about this no we don't and if anything came to mind you wanted to test it i can always test it but don't need to know want to just swipe it away okay all right so let's release that <sighs> Two. Oh yeah three Ooh. <laughs> all right good thank you oh that feels good okay all right, did we release the heartache? Yes. Yeah, that feels good. All right. How are you feeling? Good. I've had chills up my back for a while now. So it's just kind of, it's up my back, down my arms. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know what's going on, but it just, you know. Ener goosebumps. Energy moving. It's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Now, is there another trapped emotion that we have to uncover here? Yes, there is. All right. Where will we find it? Uh, is it on the right? No, on the left. Prenatal. Okay. Let's see which emotion this is. Um, would we find it in A? No, it's in B. Is it odds? It's evens. Two, four, six. B6. Is it pride? Shame. Shock. Unworthy. Worthless. Some worthless energy. Okay. Prenatal. Do we need to decode anything about it? We don't. We could always ask, was it your your own, was it your own emotion of some sort? No. So did you pick it up from your mom? Yeah. All right. So came from mom. Um, can we just release that? Yeah. Let's just release it. This is the worthless trap energy. Oh, okay. Nice shivers on that. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. All right, let's add some love back to you in that womb and to your mom. Just sending this back in time, sending this beautiful love right back there. All right, good. Thank you. All right, that put a smile on my face. So that's released. Okay, do we have another trapped emotion? No, we don't have another trapped emotion. Do we have another association? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go to the body code. Uh, would we find it to the right, to the left, energy? Right, right side, no, left, post-traumatic, offensive, mental, something in the mental category. Right, no, left. 
Is it a will to, a no will to? So there's a broadcast message, right? So for people who are watching this the very first time, you know, it's just you're sending out, you're like the radio tower and you're sending out this message, this signal. And you know, with law of attraction, what we send out <laughs> comes back, right? So these messages are never good things. So we find them and we release them. So will we find this one? Will it be in A, B, so it's C, odds, evens, two. In C, two, is it disregard me? No, nope. disrespect me. Don't look at me. Don't trust me. Fight me. We have fight me energy. Hmm. Is there anything we need to decode around this to understand, to know about this? No. Uh, any associations to this? No. So we can just release it. But that fight me energy, I see that come up lots of times. Um, you know, okay, you could see it when it, it could be your body fighting you with those things that go wrong within the body, right? It could be this repeating stuff that's going on. It's it's like a battle, right? It's like a battle. It's that fight me energy. It's giving you something um, that brings in that kind of a maybe guarded feeling or you know, having to defend yourself, feeling whatever the fight me energy might be. So we don't have to decode it, but, you know, it, that's some of what it could be. Now, we can wipe that out, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's just release this fight me energy. Okay. Woo. <laughs> there. Okay. So have we released it? Yeah. So we didn't need to know anything about it, and there was nothing connected to it. So. Yeah, it's good. Broadcast message is gone. All right. Is there another association to this partial system? And there is. Okay, let's find out what that is. Back to the body code. Uh, right, left, energy. I feel something moving. I don't know what we're coming up on. But okay, energy. Uh, is it right? No, it's left. Post-traumatic offensive. It's in the mental category. Uh, to the right. Mm -mm. To the left. A will to. Okay, so you have the will to something. Which is holding you back. <laughs> okay. Uh, six. So is it in A? It's in B. Uh, B evens. Two, four, six. Is it the will to be sick? No. The will to seek love or recognition from outside or from others? No. To decline. To interrupt. So you could look at it like, because you're talking about things that keep, you feel like, am I having to repeat things, right? So are you like, it's just about over it, healed, completed the lessons, whatever it was. But no, it's, you interrupt it, could be interrupted in some way. So you don't get to that final part to where it's. Yeah. You just so, feel like you quite, you get there and you just can't quite get over the hump. And it's like, ugh. So that would be some energy interrupting that flow to where you, where you actually complete that whole cycle. Could be, right? Yeah. Is it something like this? Something like this. Okay. So will to interrupt. Now. Do we need to know how this will to interrupt came about? No. We don't need to know anything about it. No. Is there something else associated with it? No. So we can just let go of it. Will to interrupt. Bye-bye. See you later. Send you to that beautiful light, just dissolving in that love and that light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thanks for taking that. Ah, nice big breath. Okay. So that's released. Okay. Is there another association? No. Another association, none. It's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. How how do you feel? Do you feel the energy having moved or in any any? I, I feel some of the things on the list are things that I've been wanting to deal with, or things that have kind of bubbled up for me, whether it's a personal characteristic or something. And it's like, okay, maybe now I'm going to be able to find the emotional control and whatever, so that some of these things won't be issues for me anymore. Okay. Yeah. The fight or flight. There's your fight me right there because of what I do all the time. I'm always in a fight or flight mode. Okay. So there's your fighting. Um, the interrupting I, for my whole life, I thought, you know, always been two or three steps ahead in my thinking process, never been able to calm myself down and have enough emotional control to be able to not try to finish somebody else's statement. And it's like, I really want to get better at that. I really want to, you know, go in that direction. So it's interesting that you, you bring this stuff up. The thing about the fraud. Okay. 
I'm in an industry where there's people that have professional degrees. And I've always felt like I don't have that degree. How do I measure up with them? When in reality, I'll go, I can go toe to toe with them and, and do things and it's just as good. But it's just a mental something that has been there. So when you hit these two or three things, the worthless with the mom, okay, the heartache, the whole nine yards. It's like, yeah, you know, of all the work that we've done, it's like, I feel like this is like root stuff. This is like we've gone through a lot of layers and we're at the bottom of what's going on. So it's it's really hitting home with some of this more so in this session than sessions past. So it's yeah. really interesting sitting here going, oh, wow. OK, you're touching a lot of <laughs> touching a lot of. And you know, I think when, I think when we connected again, you said, I feel like there's something deeper that I need to get to or something. I remember some words like that that you use. So, yeah, that makes. Perfect sense. It has. We, we keep getting layers of it, but I didn't feel like we'd gotten to the very bottom of it. And that's when you started describing the tree and the roots and the leftovers that are there once you get out some of the tree. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's where we are at this session is actually finally getting to the end of some of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it, it makes sense because here we are as adults, we've lived a lot of life already and a lot of different experience. Like you can't just, it'd be great if we can just get rid of it in one session, but it doesn't seem to work that way. We can do some major damage to that energy and releasing it. But you know, the nice part is, and I think the way I feel it works, at least for me, is that you let go of that stuff. It allows you then to adjust to this new way of being, this new energy. And then you can call up more. It's like, okay, we did that. Now we're ready for some more. You ready to go deeper? And you're like, yeah, yeah bring it on. <laughs> okay. So we want to pull these beliefs. We can now. We had to get all any energy associated or attached to these beliefs. If we didn't find those underlying energies, we could pull these beliefs or it might just come right back, right? Because it's still got something tugging at it. So we just got rid of all these associations. Can we now pull all of these beliefs? We can. So, you know me, I'm just going to go one by one. I'm going to keep swiping. You only need, for people out there who need, you know, you only need three swipes on the governing meridian and the energy just goes. Um, I just swipe, the, I just continue to swipe and I just speak whatever words want to come through as we pull this out. So let's do that. Let's get started, right? We're going to release this first one of I need to obey authority no matter what. Well, let's pull it out, right? Old news. Send it to the light. Dissolve it in that beautiful light. Giving it to God. Letting it go. Yeah. Okay, good. The next one we have, I can't stay connected to God. All right. Let's let that go. Let's let that go. Let it go. Let it go. Thank you. Thank you, God, for taking that one. Woo. You know what? I feel like doing, I'm getting, uh, let's do a download. Okay. I'm getting this message. We, we're still pulling out the beliefs, but let's just download quickly after that one for you. Like a way of being that your system doesn't really fully own yet. Right. So we want to download for you what it feels like to, to be fully connected to God, to be, to know that connection is there and that you can call on that energy anytime you need it. Cause you are, it. it is you, you are totally and completely connected. So we want to download that feeling, that knowing into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all timelines, all dimensions, everywhere. And in every aspect of you, right? Mind, body, spirit, the whole works, just really soaking it in, being it, moving forward day by day with this knowing, with this energy behind you, with you, connected to you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good. You know, when they come in, I got to do them. Okay. So now let's pull this next one. I will never be skinny. All right. Let's pull it. Send it to the light. Let it go. Give it up. Release it. <laughs> thank you, God, for calling that energy up because it's fun. It makes us chuckle, right? That's just part of the release too. Letting that go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Ooh, that feels good. Okay. I have no one. All right. Send it out. Send it to the light. Release it. Let it go. Ooh. I got, a, I got a real, like, very light feeling off of that one. All right. Good. And now, um, I hate spirituality. <laughs> Let's throw that away. 
send it to the light, right? Just dissolve it in that beautiful, you know, like denser energies, heavier energies, they just can't survive in that beautiful light. It just dissolves in back into pure love. Thank you, God. Thank you for taking that. Um, I'll always be weak. Mm. No, no longer. Letting it go. Letting it go, releasing it, deleting it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now I'm a fraud. Take it. Send it to the light. Let it go. Release it. <sighs> thank you. We're asking to release all aspects of that, especially those parts that are connected to this thing with your profession, right? Letting it go. Just releasing it. All right. Good. Thank you. Okay, got another download. So just quickly, we want to download that feeling of really truly standing in your power, in your knowing, allowing your abilities to express as they do so creatively in the work that you do with, you know, the work you do is with food, right? So you're very creative in that way. You're very talented. It doesn't matter degree or not, just really owning your abilities and allowing yourself to shine, to let that ability, that knowing, that that love that comes through and that creativity that comes through you through this work that you do and having that be all you need. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you for that. Taking that into every single aspect of you. Woo wee. Okay. How do you feel? Well, my ear is tingling. <laughs> Why? It's just <laughs> there. And I can feel the energy between the magnet and my head and I can feel it. When I get down here, I mean, I can feel like there's a pressure between the two. And I don't remember ever feeling that before. So it's. Really, oh, interesting. Yeah. I can just, it's almost like a pressure in between. And I'm like, you know, I expect, and I was trying to look and I figured like my hair was going to be like a mohawk or something. You know, it's <laughs> energy. Um, yeah. No, I actually, after all the sessions, when we do this, you always, a lot of times feel tired after. Because it's a lot of energy that's moving around. But then you feel good. You feel lighter. And I'll find myself, you know, all of a sudden I'm skipping or humming or something. And I feel so much better after, you know. Yeah. So that's why I really enjoy this is because then it's the after effects that are really nice. And, you know, just seeing some of these things that have really, it's not a plague that bothered me for a while that we haven't touched on before. And all of a sudden now it's like, whoa, I didn't say anything. But you're reading what I'm thinking, you know, and it's dragging out some of the bottom layers of things, which is really interesting. Yeah, cool. I love it. That's why I love this work. I'm so happy I found this way of helping people to release energy. So I've done many other modalities, but this blows my mind all the time. Now, let's just make sure that we actually pulled those because, you know, I get kind of lost in that energy. And I'm going to have to drink something and ground myself right after I ask these questions so we can continue. <laughs> Because okay. um, there could be more. It, it might not just be this one belief system here. Oh, but I'm feeling something in my heart again. That's interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on. So, are any of these statements still true for you? I need to obey authority no matter what. No. I can't stay connected to God. I'll never be skinny. I have no one. I hate spirituality. <laughs> I'll always be weak and I'm a fraud. No, like I couldn't even hold my finger up if I tried. It's just going to go down. So that's good. We got rid of all of that. We did the associations. And now let's see if we need to replace any of these beliefs. So are any of these, do we, do we need to replace any of these beliefs here that we uncovered and unearthed and released tonight? Do we need to replace any? No. We need to replace any of these? No. All right, so let's just do the bookshelf, right? So it's just a visual, and we're just going to imagine. I'm not going to keep swiping the whole time. Imagine we're looking at this beautiful bookshelf, however you may see that. I seem to see it different ways, different times, you know. So however that appears for you, and there's all these books, right? And they're, they're really all these different beliefs, and many of them are supporting you. But we just pulled out a bunch of these that no longer support you, right? They're just standing in the way. We're just deleting them, pulling them out. We didn't have to replace any of the books and put any more of them in, but we do have to now just straighten up the books, tidying it all up, right? Getting rid of those little gaps where we pulled out those other beliefs. And we're just making room on the shelf for all these good new experience and things to come in, all this new stuff to enter into your life, just opening up space for all of that to come through. All right, good. Thank you. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm feeling a lot of stuff in my heart center. It's really cool. Okay, now, 
So we did that. Good. Let's ask. Let me put a little line here because there could be more. So with this whole focus of attention that we're working on, on things that have been repeating and feeling like you haven't fully, you know, evolved past whatever those things are, right? Because um, it could be in a couple of different areas. It's just that whole thing of repeating cycles. Is there something more that we need to release here regarding this focus of attention? So there is. So we're going to go to the body code, right? And we're going to see. And uh, don't you feel anything in your heart center? I, I I don't feel anything in my heart. I just, I feel happy. I do feel lighter. And when I feel lighter like that, like I said, I, I'll skip. Like I'll walk to the house and I'll have a little pep in my step. And, you know, I can definitely, definitely feel the lightness, you know, because okay. a lot of these things, as this builds up, it weighs you down. And it just keeps pushing and keeps pushing and keeps pushing. And so when you do this work, it lifts out and you just, you're lighter all of a sudden. And so, yeah, yeah. that's where I am now is I'm, I'm like, okay, I can feel like it's lifted, you know, which yeah. is a nice feeling. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> what it's all about. I mean, it's really what it's all about. It's bringing in more light. We're getting rid of the denser energies. I mean, I've gone to things or done work on myself where I feel like I lost 20 pounds. I weighed the same, but I just feel that much lighter, uh -huh. right? And, you know, for people who don't even understand, they think, well, what are you talking about, lighter? Uh, do you remember having to study for an exam? You're afraid you're going to fail. You finally get through the exam and you're like, ah, I could breathe again. You feel lighter, right? That weight is off your back. And it's kind of like that. Okay, so let's see. There's something more. Okay, where will we find it? Right side, left side of the chart, energy. Is it right? No, it's left. Post-traumatic, offensive. It's mental. Okay. Uh, somewhere on the right, a memory field. Oh, programming. Uh-oh. Okay. Is it an image? No. Dis okay. Despair anchor. Belief code. We could have had a whole other belief code come in, right? But we don't. We have a despair anchor, which is a single belief. Right? They describe it as a statement that your system believes is true. It's a belief. But it's a single belief. It's not part of a whole system. So, but it's part of this. So will we find it in um, A, B, C, odds, evens, two, four, six, C, six. Okay. Is it there's not enough? No. They despise me. They're ruining. This is too much. Well, let's get rid of the this is too much. Old story. Don't want it. Nothing's too much because you are empowered. All right. So. Um, is there is there something we need to understand, know, decode about how this came about, when it came about, anything like that? No. Is there something that's connected to it, something that is uh, associated with it? No. Okay. So let's just wipe out that this is too much. Okay. Ah, three swipes and you're gone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to add a whole lot of extra love, just asking that God's light to come in. Whew. Okay, have we released? This is too much. Yes, we have. Okay, is there something more? <laughs> no, is there something more? No, okay. Do we get 100% of the energies we needed to pull up and bring out regarding this whole focus of attention here today? Yeah, okay, so we got everything. Okay, but are there any like trapped emotions that can still be connected to this in some way? No, any trapped emotions could undo this work. No, so that's good. Uh, any associations that I missed? Anything that's still hanging out there? Any association? No. Okay, so we got it all. All right, so we're 100% on that. And I'm going to ask, um, we're going to ask those other questions too, but let's just put 100% complete. Okay. Um, how many days to process this energy that we just went through? Well, I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm flying <laughs> over here. Um, how many more days? Is it, How many days to process this energy? Is it more than five days? Is it more than 10? Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine days. <laughs> nine days to process. Okay. I still have this cool feeling in my in my heart center. All right, I'll take it as a good thing. Now, 
So we're 100%. We checked everything. Nothing will go. And then we did nine days of processing. Let's go back to that. There was a question that didn't flip before. Let's see if we got it. Um, I think I deleted them there. So they're up here. Yeah. Okay. We did, flipped it, flipped it. From yes to no, yes to no. Now this one. Are there still some money blocks that haven't been identified? Money blocks that haven't been identified. Are there any money blocks that haven't been identified? Are there any money blocks that are part of this feeling of repeating? Um, how did you say it? Repeating lessons, moving for anything like that that's still around money. I'm getting a no. Okay. Getting a no. Okay. So let's sit with that, see how that goes, right? And then, um, you know, if something like that comes up again, we can ask a bunch of questions, try to locate, well, where is this energy? But it seems like, at least with this focus of um, repeating lessons, moving forward, it feels like uh, when you're geared up to start something good for yourself that you get blocked, that something gets in the way, something stops. So is there any of that that is still hanging around? No. So we're good. We're 100% on this. All right. Well. Thanks for participating on a video so other people can see the process and um, see, you know, maybe it's something that would help them as well. Anything you want to say before we end it, end it all? For anybody that hasn't done this, it's crazy what comes up that you're not expecting it to come up. And all of a sudden you'll go, oh God, it's like you're reading my mind and I didn't say a word and it's helped me a lot. So I firmly believe in this process and help me work past because a lot of things too, as a child, you can suppress this stuff and you don't realize that it's affecting you. And then when it's, it, it comes out in these sessions, you're like, wow, I, you know, you don't realize that it's affected you all these years through all everything throughout all of your life. Um, and then when you release it, you just feel like now you can tackle the world where maybe you didn't feel that way before. So yeah. I love the sessions and I highly encourage anybody to have one done to see for themselves um, how they feel out of this. Yeah. You know, and what's interesting too is like we, what we've been working on with this, what we're working on today was a lot of belief code stuff, which we don't really have to decode as much. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, a lot of times, it, it, well, I find that the people who've done a lot of lessons, most of the time they don't need to know anything because you're, you're already so clued into what's going on and your subconscious mind is like, no, we don't need to know. But sometimes we do. And you're like, mm -hmm. oh, I forgot all about that one. Oh, of course. Yep. So your subconscious mind just wanted you to bring it to your conscious mind to see it. Um, but and just and like say with the body stuff and, and it's not just the emotional stuff. You could have, you know, something going on with the shoulder and there could be all this trapped energy that is not physical, like injury, but all these other energies connected to it that are lodged in that area causing the trouble it, it's just really pretty magical the way that we're able to find the energies maybe you got to know the story about it maybe you don't um but we'll bring up that energy and we'll release it and then in most cases you really feel that relief now i will say i've had to hit some things a few times that i worked on for myself where i'm like oh good i got this it's all good now but then something comes up that's feels very much connected to that i'm like oh, wait a minute just like you're saying like a repeating cycle what's going on here i thought i handled that thing and um it's just your system's way of bringing up the, the attention so that you work on it right you work on something more some other angle to that that you're not thinking is part of it mm -hmm. um and i'll just share one more thing and i think i've shared it before in videos too but like um i originally started out with some Get, I wanted to work on these nocturnal leg cramps. I don't even know what they were, but I have to get cramps in my legs at night. They wake me up. I have to walk around to get rid of them, right? So like I cleared it and I'm good for months. And then all of a sudden it starts coming back. I'm like, what's going on? So I pull up some energy around that, clear that. It's good. And I'm good again. And then I'll have like a little twinge or something. I'm like, what's going on? And I, so I started, you know, connecting with myself and asking questions, you know, did I not get the energy? And I'm like, no, you got all the energy. So it was, and I, and I learned from, you know, Dr. Brad and people working with him, that sometimes your body has a way where it can get your attention. Ah. So for me, if I get some kind of pain in my body, that's the only time I pay attention to myself because I'm, I, I'm not really doing this for myself every single day, unless 
I get some kind of pain, I'm like, oh, I better, I better hit the body code on myself, right? <laughs> and it brings up all these other energies. So the point I'm making is energy will find a way to be seen, whether it's through pain or some emotional something going on. So you take a look at and clear these things. Like once you start getting in the, in the mode of energy healing, you'll find that you'll just know, like you kind of just knew I needed a reboot. I needed something going on. You start to become more aware of energy. And um, I don't know where that's all coming from, but somehow those words wanted to come out. <laughs> well, you know that one time I was going out of town and I was going to do a filming in my industry and my tooth just went crazy. I got this crazy toothache and I didn't know, you know, your mouth is all about communication. and it was, I was on medication, everything, and I could not get that to go away. And so we connected, you did some work and it was like the next day when I was going to catch this plane, it was gone. It was like overnight, it disappeared. There's no explanation for that. You fixed, you know, wherever the inner, that's just where it concentrated. And that's where it came out. Could it have been fear, anxiety, all kinds of things. That's just where it manifested because I was going to need to be able to talk and, and do all this in front of a camera. And I was like going to be so distracted if I didn't take care of that issue and you fixed it. I went and did what I had to do and it was perfect. So, yeah, it, it, you know, I, I'm, I'm sold when it happened. I was like, I, there's no explanation for it other than it's just energy there and you just have to work through it and, and fix it, heal it, release it. You know, what's funny about that is, you know, Sometimes you know, words just start coming, and I'm like, "Why am I telling this story here?" But I forgot about that thing. What happened with, with the tooth? You know, I I totally forgot about that. So maybe my story was a reminder for you to say, "Well, yeah, this work. This is what happened to me," and it just gives more understanding to people watching this, wondering what the heck is this belief code, body code, emotion code stuff. So thank you for that. That was so much fun, yes. and. Uh, Thank you, everybody watching. Please like, share. Um, you can always send me messages, ask me questions. I'm always available. Uh, thank you so much, Stephanie, for being here with me. Thank you, Linda. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.